What are you doing tonight in LA, man? I'm um, just enjoying the weather because back where I live is cold and snow. Uh huh. But, um, you know, just also out here to support Bernard Hopkins' last fight. This is going to be it. You know what I'm saying? He um, definitely was, you know, a historic man in boxing and all the stuff he did. So, you know, I can't miss this one. Did he influence your career at all, Bernard? Yeah, definitely. He, you know, he shows you and tells you, like, yo, keep at it, stay focused, you know, treat your body right, and you can have longevity and protect yourself. When you throw that right hand, make sure it's a Bernard Hopkins right hand. There you go. So I got to ask you, man. Head down second. <laughs> I got to ask you, I saw your Instagram post this week, uh, the mannequin challenge for yeah, yeah. the quote-unquote Charlo sisters. Talk to me a little bit about that, man. What made you want to do that? Um, you know, man, just... You, a lot of people out here talking big talk, but ain't, you know, walking the walk. Don't get me wrong, you know, that um, Williams fight was a, a good fight for boxers because he was undefeated. But who did Williams really fight for it to be that type of fight and um, for them to act like the way that they're acting? But um, for me, in, in my weight class, and I think I'm the best. And if you feel like you're the best, you should be able to just fight me and beat me just like you fighting everybody else. So why would it come to me? It's a problem. If I'm not that good, you're the best, then you should be able to walk through the park with me. So, why not do that? And for another thing, it's like, yo, they're like, oh, I know, I ain't, I ain't no matchmaker, bro. Yo, back in the days, you ain't gotta be a matchmaker to be like, yo, I wanna fight you. You in the streets, right? You got beef with somebody, you don't be like, oh, is it a, you, you think that's a good fight? Should I, should I fight him? Dad, mom. Um, is, is that okay? Can we? Yeah. Or you get a girl or something, so you, like a, you see a girl, pretty girls, whatever, they're cute, whatever, you be like, oh, you, you think she looks good with me? You think I should talk to her? Like, come on, man. This is boxing, man. This is, you. and then the other brother over there like, we're fighting the streets. We're fight. Bro, dog, if it really came down to it, yeah, but I'm not about that. I'm about getting paid and fighting. Like, I fought all my life. So, like, just nonsense, man. Like, grow up, man. And then, at the same time, like, yo, if you're the best, fight Demetrius Andre. Did you guys have any kind of interaction, like, that night after the press conference or, like, any like any talks between camps or anything like that in terms of trying to get a fight done or were they talking shit to you, you know, any, anything at all? I mean, you know, like I said, you, you, you sit there and talk shit, right? You sit there and talk shit. Like, if you watch his videos when I was supposed to fight him and he tries to bring it up, I heard him say something like, oh, um, oh, I'm going to make him wait. I'm going to make him wait because I was supposed to fight him. And I pulled out. Yo, the real story is now it's out there. It's Rock Nation. So why are you still going back that way trying to make it seem like I pulled out? And then the whole Rock Nation thing finally came out and people see where, what the deal was. I signed the contract to fight you in January. Who do you choose to fight afterwards? Von is Maravosian. Let's be real, man. Let's, let's just put it all out there, and that's the truth. That's what it is. When you talked to him in the press conference, did you get, did you get an idea like this guy might might want to fight me? Like, what, what what did you think going away from that press conference after you called him out? That the people need to know who is the real deal. That this is not this is this boxing shit, man. Like when I've grown up, like people wasn't afraid to call somebody out, wasn't afraid to make fights happen. Nowadays, it's like, I'll fight him, I could be him. No problem, let's make the fight happen. It's a business, don't get me wrong, but yo, I, I gotta eat too. I gotta show I'm the best too. This is my sport. This is what I've been doing since I was six years old. I'm supposed to just sit back and watch everybody eat and be like, damn, I'm supposed to be there? Nah, I can beat you. I can prove I can beat you. And if I, if you, if you, if I can't, then you're the better man. But until then, I'm the best. My pedigree says it, Olympian. 2007 um, world champion, um, um, WBO champion. Like, who haven't? What haven't I have done not to get what I'm supposed to be getting? Now I gotta.